that's, that's why it's a fallacy. Yes, it is. That's, a, that's the definition of a paradox. They're mutually exclusive. So, okay, so can you answer the question? Is God limited by logic? That's a fallacious question. That's my point. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's self-defeating. Yes, it's a yes or no. It's self-defeating. So Wait, how God did sent he get the an, message? God sent an angel to deliver the message. So that angel is part of the universe. The angel can come within the universe. Yes, but God is not in the universe. But God is part of the angel, is he not? Uh, what? You have my respect. Man, I watched, I think I watched the entire thing closing to the very end. I, I messaged Fire like not even like 30 minutes in. I was like, bro, Rami's built for these things, man. Cause like if I was there, I would be like, yo, just send me location, bro. <laughs>that one equals one. They presupposed that two equals yes. two. They yes. didn't make, they presupposed. Yes, because they described it in the first place. Bruh. They're describing one plus one is two equals true. That's what they're describing it as. Yeah, but they're, they're presupposing that one equals one, two equals two. They're, these are presuppositions that we just accept as facts. Okay, we're also presupposing that uh, and or Rami is a word in English. We're also presupposing that basketball is a word in English too. It doesn't yeah, make sense to say that <laughs> English I is can not use deduction. logic. English okay, is not deduction again, in the sense that math but is. It, but it is, it is analogous because it is in the same way as mathematics, it's a language. Yeah. So when you're comparing a language to a language, you could say, yeah, okay, it's mathematics. When you're comparing like DNA, for example, you could also say it's a language. But the point here is that math is deduction. Language is not deduction. So it's not comparable in this Math in this is a deduction based on how we think the universe works. Again, one iPad plus two plus another iPad is two iPads. Right? It's not it's it's not based on the universe. We look at the universe in a mathematical sense, because when you say this is one iPad, you're using a mathematical truth. That mathematical truth that one is one is is presupposed to be true. That's my yes. entire point. When you say this is one water bottle, mm -hmm. you've used a mathematical truth by calling it one water bottle. So when you take another one and you say this is a second and one plus one equals two, those are mathematical truths you're using, which makes it circular reasoning. So you're saying mathematics is circular? Bruh. No, I'm, I'm not saying mathematics is circular. You just, you just, I'm, you saying, just I'm saying mathematics is presupposed to be true. But and you can't prove it. You can't prove one equals one. You can't prove one plus one equals two. Because yes, as soon as you, you try can. to, as soon as you try to, you use mathematical pr uh, truths already. As soon as you say this is one water bottle, you've already, you've already failed. That's circular arguing. Because you're using math to prove math. This is one. What? <laughs> I don't know why the, everyone, every single person watching this, leave a comment. And let me know if that made sense. I don't know why he could not understand that very simple point. Like, was was there something wrong in my articulation? Was it like just non comprehensible? I don't know. I don't know. Just um, pay close attention to his body language throughout these video clips. Mm. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You just agree that we're made of particles. I, I, I said, yeah, we are made of particles. I didn't say only particles. I didn't say that particles are the necessary so what, existence. So there's a difference. See, this is the thing. It's not just causation. It's limitation. It's dependency. It's a multitude of things. If something can exist in another way, it's not necessary. If something is made of smaller parts, it's not necessary. So if you are saying that the plethora the multitude just let me finish this point if you are yeah. saying that the multitude of these particles is the necessary existence that is uncaused that is not contingent upon anything that is necessary not possible this is fallacious and the reason for that is what is the sum of all particles 
every individual particle together. So the summation of the particles is predicated on what? The individual particle. That's why it's fallacious. You still need an external, independent, unlimited uh, existence to, that's necessary to allow that to be. Why can't the sum of the universe be just the particles? Why can't that be? I just explained why. Because the sum of the particles is yeah. broken down into every individual particle so it's contingent upon every individual particle therefore it's fallacious okay, to say that what's it's wrong necessary. with what's wrong with that why, why can't the universe be contingent on itself just like your god it's, is your god is an independent thing right why can't there, the universe be if it's contingent upon itself that's just saying it's necessary and if it's necessary yeah. If it's necessary, it cannot be comprised of smaller parts. The sum Why of not? particles. Why not? Because if it's broken down into smaller parts, then it's contingent upon those parts. Okay, so what? What's so wrong with that? So if it's contingent <laughs> upon those parts, it's not necessary. It did not need to be. And it it's no, only it's exists because. It's contingent on itself. It needs that's, that's a difference. That's, that's different. How is it different? The universe could be necessary by itself. It could be the case. The universe is comprised of contingent things. So what? So therefore, <laughs> it's made of contingent things. So what? So you're breaking the universe down into contingent objects, which makes the universe contingent. Why can't it be contingent on itself? Why not? I'm not saying it can't be, just but like, I'm saying- Just like your God is, right? Your God is contingent I'm saying, on itself. That's not Why contingent. That's, necess that way? that's necessary through itself. The reason you that just, universe cannot be necessary can through itself, the reason the universe cannot be necessary through and of itself is two main reasons. One, it is subject to change. Anything that is subject to change. For example, let's say we had me, except I had one less arm. Me, full body, two arms. I can't be necessary if I can exist in a different way because the way I am is not necessary. You fathom the non-existence of the original thing if you change it. So if the universe exists in different ways, then it's original as it is, is not necessary. Secondly, the universe is what? The universe you don't have a first is one. No, you don't have a first one. There's no What do you mean we don't have a first one? There's no need for the universe or uh, there's no reason why the universe must be a specific way. There's no reason why yeah. Do you have another? Do you have? Do you have another universe to compare this one to? You're misunderstanding right? my point. You're misunderstanding no, no, no. my listen, point. Listen, listen. What you're saying is that that's a tangent. Universe, no, what you're saying is that the universe mm -hmm. um, is can only be this specific way, right? I never said that. Okay, I never so said you, that. So, so you're saying the universe can be different ways, right? Yes. Okay. Why? Why is that an issue? Because if something, and this is what I was trying to explain, if no, something, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why? Um, do you have another universe to compare this one to to say that? the universe could be a different way. Why would I need another universe to compare it to? Because if, because your entire argument depends on that, it depends on the fact that uh, there could be other options, right? Isn't that what you're saying? Yes, it could exist in a different way. And it's built and it's comprised of contingent existences. So the universe okay. as a whole in formality is so, contingent upon contingent existences. Okay, so, okay. And again, and now what's the issue with that? Yeah, what's the issue with that? It's if you have something that's contingent upon contingent things and you have an infinite regress of that, then you wouldn't have existence at all because everything's contingent on something else. Because if something is, if everything is possible only through something else, then nothing exists. Why can't the universe be recycling over and over? The particles of the universe be recycling. Why can't that be possible? I'm not Which saying it can't be. be. I'm not saying it can't so, be. So then I'm your saying, argument, so then no, your argument's my, useless because you're arguing. That's what you're arguing. You're arguing that. That's what I'm trying to get to. No, I'm not arguing that. This you're misunderstanding so the you're, entire argument. This is the issue. My no, argument okay. Okay. is that you cannot have a chain of existence of all contingent things. The reason this is an issue is if everything is contingent on something else, then there is nothing to bring anything into existence. Because for me to exist, I'm contingent on something else. For that thing to exist, it's contingent on something else. Infinite regress and you, nothing would exist. So I'm not saying it's impossible for the universe to be recycling itself and so on and so forth, but I'm saying it's not the necessary existence. It would still leave an empty slot where there must be something that is necessary through itself. 
the universe, if it's recycling itself in its closed system, that's fine. But that doesn't make it the necessary existence. It's Why still- not? Why not? Why can't the universe be recycling ex- over and over again in the way it is? <laughs> Explain. It can be. Again, you're completely so, misrepresenting my point. No, no, no. If you're saying it can be, then your argument is not what you're arguing for. Your argument my, is useless. You're not, you your don't understand. Is, what's, okay, what's my argument? What's my argument? That the universe must be contingent to something else. And you're, yeah. you just admitted that it doesn't have to be. So no, your I, argument, I never said it doesn't have to be yes, contingent. I said specifically. Everybody who's watching. Everybody who's yeah. watching. Play back. Play back. He just play said back. It. He said it's possible. Play back. He said I, it's said, possible. I said it's possible for the universe to be recycling. I never said that means it's not contingent. I never said that's not contingent. Why con- wouldn't it be contingent on itself? The that's necessary- what it means. That's what it means. The, that, you're misunderstanding my argument completely. No, the universe, God, yes you are, Mike, yes you are. I'll explain it, I'll explain it in depth, okay? Go ahead, go ahead. Again, let's say there is a necessary existence. The necessary existence creates the universe in a closed system where it's recycling itself. That's possible, but you cannot say that closed system is a necessary existence in and through itself because anything that's subject to change, anything that's subject to change, you must fathom the non-existence of it in its original form. And even if you say that there's no such thing, the universe just is a bunch of particles, this is the issue. The universe as a whole, I'm going to give two examples. I'll start with particles. If when you say particles, you mean the sum of all particles, then the sum of all particles is based on every individual particle, meaning the entire summation is contingent upon every individual particle. That is why it cannot be necessary. You're you're just repeating yourself again and again. Yes, because you're not understanding. Because you're not understanding my no, entire argument. You're not understanding, dude. You just said the universe could be, it could possibly be recycling over and over again. There's no issue with that at all. The, yeah, but that doesn't be... make it necessary. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why that's so difficult to comprehend. If A depended on B and B depended on A, none of them would exist. Like, <laughs> bro make it make it not make sense yeah i this is what i th- I think he understood most of my points but he knows he can't admit it because if he admits it it leads to god and he can't have that as an atheist mm. yeah bro should i should i chime in yes, yeah please, please do bro all right y'all y'all peep the name <laughs> <laughs> Young particle, mashallah. Listen, listen. All I wanted to ask is have you guys been paying attention to his body language? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was That's on the ground. That's it, bro. That's it. He seems troubled. Yeah. Yeah. He seems troubled. His particles were disrupted. <sighs> all right. All right. Continue. <laughs> you could tell a lot about people's body language, bro, without even then open them, opening their mouth. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, man, it. Yeah, go on. I was gonna say, like, from here on out, I don't think you should debate people like this. Yeah. Because it's it, 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 He's not looking for truth. He's not looking for answers. He's not. He's not even looking for any of this stuff. He's just. He's literally just looking to get off on a on an argument. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I mean that that's pretty feminine, bro. And I, I'm not trying to claim anything on him. He might be who he is. He might be completely different from what I'm saying. But uh my uh what would you say this? My conclusion here is that that's very feminine behavior to just seek out an argument instead of actually try to seek answers and try to mm-hmm. seek uh real conclusions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thousand percent, bro, to the moon. Femininity is hella attractive, isn't it? But not in men. That's facts. Yeah. By the way, just you said you said before, whatever is subject to change. Well, isn't God subject to change? Doesn't your God change, or he's always oh. the same? He doesn't change. What about God changes? So if God, well, he created the universe, right? That's that's change in itself. That's causing, not change. That's not change causing, within God. Causing something is change, is it not? It's not changing yourself. That's not God changing. 
if you cause something, you've caused a change. Did you so not? If I, if, I, if I build a house, I changed? <laughs> <laughs> you changed the house. You changed things, right? Yeah. Hold up, hold up. We got to rewind that one more time because a lot of people didn't catch that. Well, he created the universe, right? That's, that's him over and over again. There's no issue with that at all. There, yeah, there but it doesn't be... make it necessary. By the way, just you said, you said before, whatever is subject to change. Well, isn't God subject to change? Doesn't your God change? Or... Isn't God subject to change? Doesn't God change? <laughs> uh, at this point, man, like this far into the... Uh debate and for everyone watching like if you haven't watched the debate we're pretty deep in it right now mm. we, we got clips cut out just so like we can drive points home here but like this is real deep in and like when you get this deep in you realize this dude really had nothing yeah like, he, he didn't come prepared for anything he again he came prepared to argue and that was it my man literally said if if god creates something then god changes <laughs> how does how does that make sense bro that what yeah i even give an analogy which i'm mm -hmm. about to mention yeah yeah, yeah. bro i Let's could see that. him right now but he's always oh. the same he doesn't change what about god changes so if god well he created the universe right that's that's change in itself that's causing, not change that's not change causing, within god causing something is change is it not it's not changing to yourself that's not god mm -hmm. changing if you cause something, you've caused a change. Did you so not? If I, if, I, if I build a house, I changed? You changed the house. You changed things, right? Yeah, but that's not God changing. There's a difference between something existing in a different way and causing what? something to exist in a different way. See, this is the problem. You're conflating two things that are completely No, no, no. How different. is it? You're, you're not understanding. If, he, if your God sent a message to Muhammad. Ooh, you, you got him by the balls, bro. Right? That means he caused something to change. That means he's part of the universe. What? That is changing. What? He's part of, he's part of, no, he's he's part not of part. existence. He's part of, he's part he's, of the change. He's part, he's part of, of the change. The, he's part of the chain of existence. He's part of the chain of existence. That doesn't mean he exists in a different way. Complete so, straw man. Complete straw man. When I say chain, I mean God makes the universe, for example, and then all these things come about in the universe. God is the beginning of that chain. But he's not within the closed system of the universe. But he, gave him a message, but he gave him a message to Muhammad. How is that he, not part of the universe? He sent an angel to deliver a message. That so doesn't that mean means, that God is a part of the universe. What? You if think God, God's not part of the universe? Do you, you believe in God message? to begin with? Do you believe God to begin with? So are you going to oh, say you're not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, that was the best part. That God's a part of the universe. I'm wow, not what saying. A, what a great argument. <laughs> You're, Listen, you're trying you're to argue. Ridiculous, man. If God gave a message to Muhammad, that means he's part of the universe. No, he doesn't. He, he, How, okay, demonstrate it, please. How does it mean he's part of the universe? What? How? How is he a part of if, the universe? If God came down, that's that's Christianity, my guy. And gave me a message, that would mean he's part of the universe. God didn't come down. He did not come down. That's what we're saying. See, you can't then provide how did an he example. Give a message? Then how did I Muhammad said he the message. I Muhammad said, Muhammad's down, right? Muhammad is down, yes, right? Yes, I explained. So how God did he sent get the an, message? God sent an angel to deliver the message. So that angel is part of the universe. The angel can come within the universe. Yes, but God okay. is not in the universe. But God is part of the angel, is he not? Uh, what? So, <laughs> does, does he think I'm going to answer yes to any of these questions? Hold on. So, God is the angel, a part of the angel. God is a part of the universe. He's just, it's, you know, when you f take a fish out of water and it's like starts to flap around, trying to get back in. That's what he's doing now. He's, he's just flopping Bro, you around. Know what, you know what Mike Mike is trying to do? First of all, I got I to gotta coin that in a t-shirt. Mike Brigandi, 2021. God is a part of the angel. That's <laughs> so much logic, but I'm, I'm more, bro. I don't know, man. I just... <laughs> I'm I'm out of loss of words, bro. Yeah, it's funny, but it gets worse. If if the clip continues, it, it gets worse. You'll you'll see. Get the and message. God sent an angel to deliver the message. So that angel is part of the universe. The angel can come within the universe. Yes, but God is not in the universe. 
But God is part of the angel, is he not? Uh, no, he's not angel. a part of it. He, how is he a part of the angel? <laughs> so the angel is an individual existence. The the angel yes. is a necessary existence. What? Nope, no. Outside, because, outside okay, of don't, God. don't play that game. All right, bro. Straight up. You know those people that like they try to like ask stupid ass questions yeah. and their goal is just to like get you so incongruent in your line of thinking because you can't comprehend what they're saying. And then they they take a stitch of that and be like Muslim puzzled at atheist wisdom or something like that, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. literally what it looked like he was trying because he was trying to get some heavy questions yeah. that you want that he wanted you to answer that made no sense, but fit his agenda and you just wouldn't submit. Yeah. And every time he did that, you know what he did? He was like, all right, all right, let's move on. I guess, you know, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It was, it was always, we don't understand what I'm saying. Let's move on. Mm. Stay down, bro. Oh, you don't want to answer my question. All right, let's move on. Yeah. Did you guys see his face, though? He knew what he was saying was completely idiotic. And you could see it on his face. If you want to rewind and see it for yourself, go do that. But his face was like, like he knew he was sounding like an idiot. He knew it made no sense. it's not necessary it's possible outside of god not necessary see man honestly come on i like you as well but this like you have to know that that these arguments don't even make sense when you're jumping back yeah. and forth can your god do something evil can your god do evil okay so when you say god can do anything first we have to define what do we mean by anything a thing is something that is possible a squared circle that's not a thing. There's no chance of doing it because it's not even a thing to begin with. But so when being, you say, but being, so when evil, you, being evil is possible, is it not? Being evil is not possible for God. So then he's not li unlimited. He's no, limited. he's limited by something. Something's this, limiting this, him to this being is, good. This, being I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain like this. The, the question itself is a contradiction. So when you say God is all good, can he do bad? No, he can't do bad because he's all good. That's a contradiction. It's like asking, can God create a rock he can't lift? As soon as you say God, you're describing an all-powerful being. As soon as you say can't lift, that's an impossibility. And not being able okay. to do something that makes you weak is not weakness. Bro, for a lot of people wondering, why is God by definition all good? What's written in green text? Explain that. So, okay, first and foremost, what is good? What is good? Good is a... a uh, a subject of morality. Now, where does morality come from? Can you test it? You can't test morality. There's no such thing as objective morality if you don't have God. So who decides what's good? God. So therefore, it's a given that anything God does is good. And also on top of that, and let's just say we, we accept that as a fact, as an axiom, that God is all good, as the definition of God, that he's all good. As soon as you say God, you're talking about a being that's all good. As soon as you ask, can he do evil? You've contradicted yourself. You've contradicted yourself. Can an all good being be evil? That's a contradiction. It's like saying, I'm always a liar. Everything I say is a lie. That sentence would have to be a lie, but it's true. Mm. So that's a contradiction. There's so many ways to explain how, to, how it's fallacious. And the question itself, the statement itself just does not make sense. You're single, right? Pardon me? You're single. I'm single. Like you're a bachelor. Oh, currently, yes. I'm that's, a the, that's, that's the equivalent of me asking Rami, how many wives do you have? Exactly. Exactly. Like, you, like, you know, like you, you can't have zero wife, like doesn't really exist. So yeah. he can't say a, a, an actual number because he doesn't have a wife. So okay. a better question would be Rami, do you have a wife? But you can't say Rami, how many wives do you have? Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like you can't ask, can't God be evil? That, <laughs> That's the contradiction. Like yeah. God, by definition, can't can't even conform to that. So it makes no sense. Yeah, exactly. You get me. Yeah, it's like exactly. it's like it's like why do Muslims pray six times a day? Yeah, it's like we okay, don't. a Muslim prays five times a day, so you can't even ask that. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But again, unlimited means you can do anything. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't no, matter it's if, it's, if it's logically possible or not. Your God can do anything. It doesn't matter what logic yeah. says. Logic any, is something we invented. Right? Any logic thing. If you're, if you're saying that God can only do things that are logically possible, then your God is limited by logic. And who is limiting God by his logic? Who's limiting him? This is why this is why it's important to understand the philosophical concepts. Because when you say a thing, what is a thing? 
a thing is something which is possible. God being weak, God ceasing to exist is not possible. And that doesn't make God limited. That actually makes him so you're necessary. So he's not unlimited. That's what omnipotence means. It means being, doing anything. Doing mean anything. Listen, Mike, doing anything entails that it's something that is possible. A squared no. circle is not a possible thing. It's not a thing. So when and we being, say God can do anything, it's something that is possible. Saying okay. can God make a rock that he can't lift is a contradiction. Why is that a contradiction? Because when you say God, you're talking an all-powerful being. When you say can't, you're limiting him. That's not a possibility. Exactly. It's and that's you're not you're not willing to admit that the paradox applies to your God because you're saying nope. that he can do anything. Your so question your leader, is your, a fallacy. Listen, listen, your, your, your question your, is your, illogical. It's self-defeating. It listen, is your, your question is self-defeating. You're redefining what it means to be unlimited and saying that he could only do things that are logically possible. So then what is so then obviously you do you agree that God is limited by logic? I never said God is limited by logic. This you're misrepresenting my he's, entire point. This is a straw man. This is a straw man. I'm gonna explain listen, why. Answer the question. Is God limited by logic? Can he do things that are logically impossible? Do things that are logically impossible? Yeah, can he do that? That doesn't mean he's limited by logic if he can't. What? Yes, Listen. that's what it means. If you can't do something that's logically impossible, that means you're limited by logic. Mike, Mike. By the your way, your question humans, is a fallacy. Way, your question how, is a fallacy. How okay, is it? I'll explain it. When God, when you say God, you're talking about an all-powerful being. When you say, is he limited by something? That's a fallacy. God who is unlimited, is he limited by something? That's fallacious. That's a fallacy. Say, it's, it's an illogical question. It's fallacious because you say so. It's you're not, the one. It's not no, it's a fallacy. Fallacious. Yes, it is. Uh, can you have an all-powerful being that's so powerful and makes itself weak? That's a contradiction. That's fallacious. It doesn't make sense. Exactly. That's why it's a paradox to call your God unlimited. And no, that's why it's a paradox to ask, can he do things that make him weak? That's, that's why it's a, a fallacy. Paradox. Yes, it is. That's a, that's the definition of a paradox. They're mutually exclusive. So, okay. So can you answer the question? Is God limited by logic? That's a fallacious question. That's my point. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's self-defeating. It's, yes, it's a yes or no. It's self-defeating. Hmm. It got me a little moist. <laughs> You want Rob putting him in his place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand it, bro. I really don't. Listen, I just gotta give you 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 muted by the way. But um Thank you. You have my respect because man, I watched I think I watched the entire thing closing to the very end and like bro, I, I messaged Fire like dude, not even like 30 minutes in, I was like, bro, Rami's built for these things, man. Because, like, if I was there, I would be like, yo, just send me location, bro. Subhanallah. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. I honestly think that was the one time I actually got angry and, like, yelled. Like, I got angry throughout the debate, but that's the one time I actually showed and I started yelling. No, uh, you held frames, like, marvelously, bro. Mashallah, I admire that. You weren't, you weren't going into his frame, yeah. but you can't go into someone's frame if they don't have a frame to begin with yeah yeah that's, that's like a self-defeating question in yeah. a way <laughs> exactly mashallah he was all just a bunch of particles bro <laughs> screw it exactly. yeah, particle mashallah <laughs> all right guys if you made it this far hashtag atheism is confusion and if you want to challenge us and challenge our ideology get at us you know where to find us dm us on ig It. Is the video done? That's all. No, I mean, yeah, that's that's the whole reaction video. All right, Dad. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, Subhanallah. You could see the amount of mental gymnastics and and fallacious questions and a fallacy is basically something that is a uh, is basically I don't know how to define a fallacy, but it's it's false logic basically, right? Um, you could see the amount of fallacies you have to use, the, the stupid questions you have to ask, trying to get me uh, to basically bury myself when he asks things like, so God is a part of the universe and blah, 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 blah. Thinking that, oh, maybe this guy, I'm going to get him with one of these and then I can just run with it. Luckily, alhamdulillah, thanks to God, all thanks to Allah alone, I didn't fall for that uh, idiocy. Um, so, I mean, and this is what I, I want to add this. The worst part about his belief system is everything's just particles, right? So cutting a tree down and cutting me down is exactly the same. 
And rape is not wrong because it's just particles rubbing together. It's just like me doing this. It's just it's just particles. So <laughs> very sad. Um, at the end of the day, you know, alhamdulillah, I think it, it shows um, who know what they were talking about. And uh, uh, yeah. Mm. Rami Rami came over last <clears throat> night uh, and we were watching this uh, this video, Cosmic Skeptic with uh, versus Sabu Ahmed, right? Yeah. And Cosmic Skeptic literally said, uh, he said, rape is not what did he say in, in inherently wrong or objectively wrong i forgot what he said but basically yeah. it was like his atheism logic he's like it's not wrong because like he couldn't even answer bro it's like a yeah. yes or no question yeah, he, yeah. Was just, he was just he was answering that question with like multiple other questions yeah yeah we just annihilated him yeah. i don't understand this bro like where do you guys get your morality then like where do atheists get their morality Guys, mm. comments, likes, it really does help the algorithm. We are a small channel, but we're growing faster and faster and faster every day as it goes by Inshallah. with your help. Alhamdulillah. So with that being said, spam the comments down below. Go watch the video if you're having the debate. I'll plug it at the end. And uh, spam comments there too. Hashtag atheism is confusion and hashtag King Rami. Yeah. And the last thing, well, the last thing I want to say yeah. is the thing that I said on... Um, and I see her sessions when uh, Imran had uh, done like a little interview for me when I had reverted to Islam. And he was asking me about atheism because I was atheist for a while. And it's like, I equated being atheist to being like this hurt little kid. It's, it's just trouble. You're not happy. You're just angry within at like the entire world at everything. And you're trying to you're basically trying to learn all these uh i'm, I'm gonna say different angles because that's that's what we can see science as it's, it's different angles of understanding this reality obviously there's more but atheists in and of themselves like when i was atheist it was just i really only learned these angles to try to refute people and try to like put other people not down but try to make them uh, see that what they were believing wasn't real and wasn't the truth just because I didn't see it as real and the truth. But it's like, it didn't come from like a good place. I didn't have good intentions with it. And like, I can honestly say the same, but this Mike individual, where it's like, you know what? All, all low kicks, all low, low punches, all that stuff thrown aside. Like, he just seems troubled, man. So yeah. if he does mm -hmm. by some chance, come across this video and he does by some chance make it to the end of this video man like i'm pray for you bro you remember that uh that friend of mine that me you and rami had a had a talk with trying to at least bring him to believe in god if not islam it just didn't work and what what is one word you guys could use to describe the brother hard-headed i would say troubled yeah, trouble. Yeah. What about Rami? Yeah, I was gonna say in denial, but I think trouble, yeah, yeah, it's just trouble. Like, bro, here's the thing: I don't know if I'm gonna go to Jannah. Anhel doesn't know. Rami doesn't know. No Muslim, you know, at least today's, you know, there was Sahaba and you know, Rasulullah and obviously there's people guaranteed Jannah. I'm talking about today. You guys watching this, you can't guarantee if you're gonna go to Jannah. But being a Muslim, coming to Allah, repenting, you still have that guarantee that you know for a fact that Allah is all merciful and the most merciful. And you know for a fact that you can have peace at night. Yeah, you might have done some messed up things, but if you truly change your ways and repent, <coughs> you, got, you got that guarantee, that, that promise, that, that eternal oath, that covenant, that no matter what, Allah has your back. And the creator of the universe has your back, nothing can stop you. So if you got that, you're straight. If you don't have that, you're going to be tossing and turning in bed wondering okay what's gonna happen here what's gonna happen there you know but well, like how, how Muslim, can you live at least give life, that peace real talk like how could you live life and be happy and be content and actually experience this life to the fullest to the fullest potential if all you think is that we're just particles and uh we're consciousness and you know once we die that that's pretty much it like bro mm. i'd be Listen, if I still thought that way, I'd be still, I would be so afraid of death. And like, here's the thing, y'all, here's the thing. When I was atheist, I used to do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, I still do crazy things. 
Um, I think that's just a, a personality disorder or maybe an attribute. But um, I, I would do things that would specifically put myself in danger just so I would feel a rush. So I would feel like adrenaline or something just so I could feel alive. Or I could feel something. And it's like, I guess I was so afraid of death that I went more and more towards death just so that I can, um, I don't know, feel something and try to get an answer of some sort that I was looking for. So it's like, again, I, I just, I, I don't know how an atheist can uh, continue and actually experience life to the fullest. Yeah, bro. There was a guy who asked the sheikh, how are you going to feel? It was an atheist, by the way. How are you going to feel if uh, if you die and you find out that, you know, there's no day of judgment, there's no heaven and hell, how are you going to feel? And the sheikh answered, um, I'm not going to feel as bad as you would when you find out there is. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm not saying religion is fear mongering and Islam is fear mongering, but think about it, bro. And if you don't want to have fear of a love, your creator, and you want to be logically sold on religion, there's a lot of intellectuals, Hamza Zortis, Muhammad Hijab. There's too many people, Subur Ahmed, too many great scholars, too many great advocates of the truth, too many great cosmologists, too many great physicists, too many great even students of knowledge like Rami that are just out here doing their due diligence. So just open your eyes and inshallah, God willing, you are guided to see the truth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change the condition of a person until they change what's within themselves. So if you guys don't change what's within you, you're not going to get, you know, Allah's grace and Allah's help and Allah's guidance. You're not going to get that. Yeah. Yeah. SubhanAllah. That's true. Rami, any Bro. closing thoughts? No, alhamdulillah, I think uh, it summarized pretty well, mashallah. Yeah, because we don't want to do a two and a half hour debate and then the reaction's like another yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah. I'll say top it off. Run up the streams. It's Monday today. You guys are going to see this on Tuesday, which is tomorrow for us. Two days have, have gone by. We already got like almost 12,000 views. So just run up the streams, inshallah. Allah will put T3M on the map. Inshallah. Just like Allah has put us on the map, inshallah. Bro, and last thing, man, I'm popping off here, bro. But go, last go thing. Off, bro. Is that if if an atheist, if you tell them this, and you're like, look, you just like like what you said, uh, Allah's not going to change an individual until they change what's inside themselves first. Like they they want to have to they have to want to change. Mm. So it's like though these atheists they always throw this victim card out and be like, oh well, I guess if I'm not guided, that I'm I'm one of those people that are going to hell and stuff like this, and they they try to get all upset. It's like, bro. Bro, like, just choose to change. It's like someone who has an addiction to pornography and they, they want to make every excuse in the world and play the victim card, but do everything except try to get past the addiction to pornography. Mm. Instead of saying, I have an addiction, now let me change this. It's 100%. like these, these people, instead of saying, like, yo, um, I want to change. Like, I want to know the reality i want the truth of everything i want i want to soften my heart and that sounds weird bro i'm gonna be honest because i was one of those people where it's like, i didn't want to hear any of these things mm -hmm. but it's like to soften your heart is the only way that you will experience the truth it's right. the only way that you can experience allah because it's like if your heart is hard and you you listen to the quran it doesn't do anything mm -hmm. you don't experience anything but if your heart is softened now, when you listen to the Quran, you got tears coming out of your eyes. You got shivers running down your back. Goosebumps. I'm mm. telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all. This is it, man. All right, guys. May Allah bless you all. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.